<laughs> Hashtag I'm from Denver. We are at Rare Steak Championship. It's going down right now, but it would not be going down, Larry Uliberry, without these guys. They're teaming up with Dining Out, but they need to explain who they are. But, Larry. They, they brought the cow. They brought the, they it, Really, really. Between <laughs> Cisco and Buckhead, how do we explain what you guys do? Because this really is a championship where it's a kind of a blank slate, right, for all the, for all the com competitors out here. Yeah, so it really is. So, so we work with Jeff Suskin, and basically what we do is is we help secure basically the sponsorship for the meet. So all of the product that you're trying here today is Aspen Ridge product from JBS out of Greeley, Colorado. Um, I've been working with Jeff for several years now. Jeff is it runs Dining Out magazine, Jeff, and Dining yep, Out. Yep. yep. Jeff Jeff runs Dining Out. He puts on this whole event here that we're at tonight. Um, you know, he was looking for a sponsorship a couple of years ago. Reached out. Uh, we had a perfect sponsor for him, and basically it's all history from there. So we started kind of forming the relationship between Cisco, between JBS, uh, between Dining Out Events, and between Buckhead Beef. And basically what we did is we bring in all of the product about a month and a half before the event. We'll age it in our warehouses, and then Ted and his team will basically take it out about a week before the event, and they drop it off to all of the competitors. It's like white, it's white glove delivery. It, yes. it is, it is, it is. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yes, it. totally. Uh, so basically what we did is uh, we get a list of everything and what they want to buy. So uh, we get a list from JBS of what's available. Um, we send it out to all the chefs. We give them about a month to pick what they want. And then um, we let it age in our coolers, like we said, so that way it's got nice tenderness to it. And then basically uh, my crew and I, we drive around in our vans and we deliver to every chef. With the, with the white gloves that Larry's talking about. Basically, they have the meats. We have the meat, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. Now, now do, do you feel that like uh, everybody kind of, since they're working with the same meat, it's a fair situation then, right? I don't know. You know, you got uh, 801 Chop House, right? They got their meat a little early and they put it in a dry age room, right? Uh, you got uh, you got another guy who uh, pulled it and decided to smoke it over here at Vibe, right? So everyone has meat, right? Yeah. It's like a roadmap, right? Sure. You, you and I both want to get to the same place. We're going from A to B, but are we all going to go that same way? No a different, way. Different, everyone takes a different path. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's That's a right. delicious path. So do you guys have, uh, are you allowed to have favorites? Is that, are you too vested? Is that, or have you both, like, how does that work? I got I got to be careful. I got a lot of customers here, so <laughs> right. I don't really want to call out a favorite, but, right. you know. But you have one. <laughs> <laughs> they're all amazing. They're, they're all amazing. So let me put it this way. They all use, to make it very easy, they all use the same cow. At the end of the day, it's the same, the same cow for better saying. of a sense. Right. But, but some are using filet, some are using ribeye, some are using strip, just like Ted was saying here. They're all prepared different ways. Everybody started with the same age, a month, about a month, month and a half of age on the meat. And then from there, it's what they want to do. Some of them finish it dry aging, some of it finish wet aging, some of it smoke, whatever they do but it's just amazing to come out here and try what they're doing today. Now, how are you guys as cooks? You seem so knowledgeable in the meat game. How are you at making steak? I, I'm not going to lie, but I'm a great cook. Um, okay. I, I have a couple. I, I smoke. I grill. That's that's my forte right there. I love doing it. I go to Buckhead all the time, and I pick up meat, take it home, roast it, smoke it, grill it, whatever you want to do, I can do it. Now, now you? How are you? Yeah, yeah I maybe have dabbled a time or two in this uh, in this business. Um, I agree. I'm a big smoker. Uh, I like to use the grill. I also like to use sous vide a lot. Uh, I think it tenderizes it, cuts down on the time on it, uh, and you know things turn out really nice with it. Well, thank you guys for doing what you do. You do God's work. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> the meat gods. <laughs> thank you guys. Hey, so we are at the Rare Steak Championship. Ha championship. Hashtag I'm from Denver. I've had too many of the cocktails and the pairings, but we're having a we're good time. <laughs> uh, well, let's go get some more steaks, and and I got to get the expert's opinion. So I almost want to go back out there with you guys, so you can tell me exactly what's going down with the meat. Yeah, no, I, I'm with you. Yeah, so like I said, 801 Chop House, they did a great job of uh, uh, dry aging that product. Uh, Vibe kicked it really well with uh, with smoking their tenderloin. Um, uh, I don't know. There's a, a up and coming new restaurant here, uh, uh, Waka Perea. Um, they have a skirt that made his homemade uh, chimichurri. I mean, the line is about 300 people deep, <laughs> but if you're, you know, if you have the time, I'd hit those. You know, this is another uh, reminder that ne every time this event comes up, it sells out. So you got to get your tickets quick. It sells out like in 45 minutes. So if you missed out, you better plan next year. And I'll just say this. If you get the chance, go to the GQ barbecue tent. <laughs> 
They are taking fillets. Jason. They are taking oh, so fillets. Good. They are smoking them for half a day, and then they're bringing them here and searing them off to finish them. It is uh, unbelievable. It is yeah, butter, butter melting oh in your God. mouth. It is, it is phenomenal. It was probably one of the better ones I've had so far. Okay, let's quit talking and go start let's eating. Let's go eat. <laughs> let's go eat. All right, cool.